Ragda's Blind Day. I'm your host Alex and we have a set of wonderful choosies and choosers for you tonight. We have five rounds um, and there's going to be some very, very revealing answers. But the main reason why we're here is for charity. So, uh, Rag has a list of charities uh, for this show and for the year. So the money you spent on the tickets are going to go to some of these great causes. So we got uh, St. Gemma's Hospice. Yay! When You Wish Upon a Star. The British Heart Foundation, yeah. Henshaws, yeah. Young Lives vs Cancer, yeah. and the Joanna Project. Yeah. But enough from me, shall we see who our first contestant is tonight everybody? Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Lily! the show. Hi. So, uh, you may want to lift that up if I was you. <laughs> so, uh, how, what's your age? Where are you from? What course do you study? Um, I'm 23 recently. Um, I study medicine. That's it. That's it. <laughs> well, that's not what I've got on here really, to be fair. I'm so sorry. Uh, you was once on Are You Smarter Than a Ten Year Old? Oh. Yeah, the audience was much smaller than this actually. So was it really? Yeah. That's very impressive. Um, and you were telling me backstage that you correctly spelled the word coccyx? Coccyx, yeah. Uh, could you spell that for me right now? Um, uh, no, but I'll give it a go. Um, go on. It's got some C-O-C-C-Y-X. I don't, I'm terrible at <laughs> I don't know, I can't spell it. <laughs> um, but that's, even though you study medicine, you're not very good at diagnosing a broken ankle, are you? Yes, so on your 19th birthday, you broke your ankle, didn't you? Uh, yeah. And instead of going to A&E, what did you do? Um, well, my, my friends sit there in the back left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they thought I was lying about the broken ankle, so we got in the taxi to do the works. Um, I tried to walk out the taxi, um, and I couldn't walk, so I just fell on the floor. Uh, and the owner of the owner of the works gave me a tenner. Put me in the taxi and uh, got treated. Yeah. I mean, that was a rough time when putting you to A &E. um, But enough about you. Should we find out who's going to be behind this curtain? Yeah. yeah. So, should we bring them on, everybody? How old are you? What do you study? I'm 22 and I do medicine. Hey. Ooh, Miles, how old are you and what do you study? I'm 23 and I study mechanical engineering. <laughs> and Matt, again, how old are you and what do you study? I'm 20 and I do psychology. Oh. Very smart set of hats here. Are you, are you impressed, Lily? Really? has no number to it, Lily. Just think about that. Well, to whistle it down to the final two, I've got a series of questions. Now, Lily, you was obviously on Are You Smarter Than 10 Year Olds? So, the first question is, if you were to appear on a TV show, what would it be 
and why? I'm going to give you a minute to think about it. Some of you have to be truthful with your answers, that's all I'm going to say. Um, what do you think is going to come up? I hope naked attraction doesn't come up. You hope naked attraction doesn't come up. Ah, Thomas! What TV show would you be on and why? So, I'd actually apply to be on Naked Attraction. <laughs> and how did that go? Well, when they phoned me to ask me to be on the show, I couldn't get the time off of work to be able to go on, so unfortunately I was Oh, Lily, is that... is that... Uh, Callum, uh, what about you? Uh, trapped. It was on TV and Yes! Yes! That's a brilliant answer. The, the woman really scared me. You know, the lipstick. Horrible, horrible woman. Matty, what about you? Uh, I would go on The Apprentice because everyone's a twat on that so like... Good answer, good answer. Miles, what about you? Um, I'd be on Chops because I'm, uh, I'm a whiz in the kitchen. Like. Ooh. Ooh, is someone very good in the kitchen, Lily? Is that is that is that interesting? Um, I can't cook, so yeah, we'll go as well. Interesting. Matt, what about you? I'd be on that really funny show where Rich Ioni goes abroad with people. Travel man. Yeah, that's nice. Got it. So cooking, travel, and getting your cock out. Real range of TV shows right there. Um, but sadly, we've got to say goodbye to one of you guys. Um, that decision is down to Lily. Um, so, are you looking for someone who wants to go on Naked Attraction, who can cook for you, or someone who thinks they're a twat? <laughs> um, who are you thinking? It's a tricky decision. Um, yes. <laughs> Thank you. But, I think a man who can't take time off work to get naked is going to have to go. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Thomas. <laughs> I mean, you try, you try to get a naked attraction, you try to deny, but work ruins your plans again. Um, so we're going to say goodbye to you. But before we do that, should we see? Should we? Should we? Should we bring around to meet Lily? So Lily, this is Thomas. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, yeah, go for that way. Uh, yeah. So, we're now down to four. How do you feel? Do you feel sad to say goodbye to Thomas? Or, I mean, Thomas was from uh, Johannesburg in South Africa. Yeah. So, you could have been going, you know, with the family in South Africa. Okay, I'll shut up. <laughs> now, the next question is, what would your ideal first date be and why? Lily, what would your ideal first date be? I'm actually just thinking, if there's a medic over there, I'd probably know <laughs> so bad at thinking who they are. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry, side, side note, side note. That's fine. I mean, it, what was the question? My ideal date? Well, your ideal first date. Um, I mean, someone over there can fly a plane. Simulator. Um, <laughs> um, but they're also obsessed with Bake Off, if you love to bake. No, I think it'd have to be pub games, you know, pool, sneaker darts, somewhere. Of course. Fair enough, fair enough. Anyway, let me come over to the guys. Callum, your ideal first date. Uh, well, I actually used to play darts when I was younger. Um, so probably to the pub, maybe not the run, something like that. Oh. Interesting. I mean, Callum, when you was also younger, you used to play for Luton FC, didn't you? <laughs> you know, maybe you can take some football somewhere, maybe? I don't play anymore. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Matty, what about you, your ideal first day? Uh, probably show the Eiffel Tower, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this is a family show, Matty, come on. Come on. Miles, what about you? Uh, I'll take coffee, give me coffee, please, you know, something neutral, something relaxed. Right? The second day you wrap things up and stop them. Oh, you don't show your Eiffel Tower on the first date. <laughs> you know. Uh, Matt, what about you? No, well, I'm not trying to show off. We're going rocks here. I'm going to destroy it with some bowling. 
then we're going to go for a few drinks after. But do you know what? It doesn't matter where we go as long as the company's good. Oh. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Very, very, very smooth. But even though it's some very smooth answers here, Lily has to say goodbye to one of you. So are you saying goodbye to the one who wants to show you Paris in a different way? Or someone who wants to take you to Roxy and destroy you? <laughs> All very tempting. Mm. Um, I think I actually can't remember the answer to the first one. So we can go. Oh! <laughs> wow. Um, that means you're saying goodbye to Callum, um, who is obsessed with Bake Off. He also knows all the words to Moana. Yay! I mean, Callum. Could you, could you give us a rendition quickly? No. Give it up for Callum, everybody! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're down to the last three. There seems to be like a pattern going on here. I don't know what's going on. Um, Lily, how are you feeling? Down to the last three. Trying to think of my final question, you know, just to really, mm. really whittle it down. Well, my last question is this. Who is your celebrity crush and why? Think about this one. Think about this one. Lily, what about you? What's, who's your celebrity crush? Do you know what, weirdly, um, I can see their face, but not their name. Um, what do they look like? <laughs> um, <laughs> my friends are just laughing at me, so... I mean, do they know who your celebrity crush is? Yeah, who's my celebrity crush? <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad answer. It's not. Yeah, no. <laughs> What's wrong with Iron Man? Mr. Tumble! Come on! Mr. Tumble! Yeah, Mr. Tumble. Knew it. Well, should we see what your celebrity crushes are, guys? Matty? Uh, this is going sound like a bit of a, a, bit of a nerd, but probably Natalie Portman purely because of her performance in the prequel Star Wars films. Yeah. Are prequels supposed to be like the worst films? Fair enough. Miles, what about you? Um, I'm, I'm torn. It's a toss up between uh, Ho Yeon Joo, I'm sorry if I got the pronunciation wrong, the North Korean girl from Squid Game, or Sebastian Stan with the long hair in the Winter Soldier. Very good choice. Very good choices. Matt, what about you? I'm gonna have to be weirdly specific, but Tom Grennan's guitarist is the most beautiful woman I've ever seen in my life. So as long as Lily looks a little bit like her. I mean, I don't know what Tom Grennan's guitarist looks like. But Lily, that means we have to say goodbye to one of them. Are you a bit split? I keep on forgetting, which is really bad. So we have got Natalie Portman because of Star Wars. We've got, I can't say that, one of the women from Squid Game? And not great, and also Sebastian Stan. And then we've also got, even I've forgotten, Tom Grennan's guitarist? There we go, those are the three answers. I wouldn't call the last one a celebrity though, no offense to Tom Grennan's guitarist. Um, but what Just crush really, isn't it? That one. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, I think, I, I actually haven't seen Squid Games. Oh. Oh, I know. I mean, I haven't either. I haven't. It's a bit too... It's a bit too dark. Um, so, I didn't get the reference, so I think it's time to go. Oh! Let me just say goodbye to Miles. He is a resident DJ at Oldwood Bus Station. And he's... Do you want to go new day, Miles? Oh, say goodbye to Miles, everybody! What a shame, what an absolute shame. Well, we're down to the last two, Matty and Matt. Uh, um, very similar names. Um, how are you feeling getting to the last two? Uh, absolutely buzzing. I think my last complete now to Wonderful, wonderful, happy I could help. So, the thing with this bit is, Lily is now going to ask her question. Lily, what is that question? Okay, I'm an absolute sucker for a really Bad dad joke. Um, so, can I please have your best dad joke? <laughs> you look a bit screwed, guys. It makes me laugh, that's it. You're in. So, um, do you know any good dad jokes at all? 
None at all. <laughs> Lily, do you know any dad jokes? As you're such a fan of them? Yeah. I mean, you can't ask the question without giving us a dad joke. Yeah. <laughs> My friends actually told me a really good dad joke before we came out. But I'm not going to execute it very well. Oh, Give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? Punchline. <laughs> I mean, should we get your friend to say it on stage? I'm gonna try it. Um, something about um, <laughs> my friend asked me to <laughs> find him the PDF. My friend asked me to find him the PDF file. Someone asked me to help. I'm not gonna PDF, Mark. I said I'd lock him. We should be fighting slow locking him up. Okay guys, you can't get any worse than that. Matty, do you have a dad joke? Oh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling pretty scotch right now for a dad joke. <laughs> Matt? Um, Alright. What was the answer to the really awkward question of blind date? Oh, that was it. <laughs> it's meant to be a joke. Oh, can I change my I mean, you can change your question, go ahead if you want to, because those answers were fucking terrible. <laughs> so was my dad doing to be fair. Um, alright, really tricky question, but top song of all time. Oh. What is your top song of all time? Uh, Kevin Parler, uh, Breathe. Interesting, interesting. Matt, what about you? I actually heard it when I was backstage, so it's really got me in the mood. It's got to be Careless Whisper, George Wilde. <laughs> good choice. Two good choices there. Lily. Well, firstly, what's your, what's your song of all time? I knew you were going to say that. Um, oh, Any Fleet with Matt's song. Okay, yes! fair enough. Okay. Like it. Of course. Well, you found there two answers. Which answer did you prefer? Or did you forget them today? I forgot them again. Um, okay, let's run through it again quickly. Matty, your song is? Uh, so you got amnesia. Uh, okay, that's whisper. That's the medic with the amnesia. <laughs> um, well, you've now got to say goodbye to one of them. I'll, and go, then I'll, I'll, I'll pick the first option. To go home? No. He's the winner. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with Kalis Whisper? You're saying goodbye to Matt, who earlier said his life was complete by getting to this stage, and now you just ruined his all dreams. Do you want to say goodbye to Matt Lily? Woo! Aww, what a shame. But Lily, that means you get to meet Matty! Come on over, come on Matty. Come meet Lily. God, this is so awkward. <laughs> no, you don't have to get married. This is not love is blind. That's where the differentiation ends. But are um, you happy with your choice, Lily? Yeah. Nope. Okay, calm down. It is time for you to go. Well, I want to give it a round of applause for Lily and Matty! everybody! Yes! Well, everybody, let's meet Tilly! Yes! Hello, let's, let's sit down, sit down, go on. Uh, so, Tilly, hello, how old are you, what course do you do, all of that stuff? You can lift off the mic, yeah, you can top, pop off the mic. Um, hello, um, uh, my name's Tilly, I do French and Spanish. Woo! Yeah, I'm talking to French and Spanish. Yes. Impressive, I guess you never look at the subtitles when you watch Netflix then. I still look at the subtitles. But I'm in the language, so I'm getting um, better than so, yeah. Well, when we ask you to describe yourself in three words, you'd name yourself witty, outgoing, and adventurous. I mean, adventurous could be um, using ripaway stripper trousers to win a lip sync battle to Nicki Minaj's Anaconda in front of 300 people. That is impressive. That is impressive. I mean, um, 
I don't know why else I can say to that, really. Um, and this isn't the first time you've ever done a rag event, is it? I don't believe you. Well, should we see you've got to shoot short tonight? Yeah. Everybody give them a big round of applause! <laughs> well, let's start with our first question then. So, I'm going to ask you to tell Tilly, a fact that would surprise her. Okay. Um, anything that would surprise you? Um, what would surprise you? I mean, if you um, have a mum That's fine. Um, well, that's not here. Don't you don't want to start with you? Has anyone got an answer yet? Anyone, have you got an answer? Okay, Freya. What is your answer? Um, I guess the fun fact about me is that I've been on the cover of a magazine. I'm also a photographer as well. I'm a very creative person. Very creative. Any other answers from you guys? Cassie, you got one? Um, I've learned a phrase before, I'm going to speak five languages. Yeah. Oh, okay. How did you do that? I was part of the CCS, I got a chance to do it. It's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It's so? I am studying a PhD in physics, but I cannot do any mental math. <laughs> I mean, that is impressive. That is impressive. Uh, Rita? I've lived in Asia most of my life, but I'm not from Asia. Where, where are you from then? Oh, Russia, very interesting. Well, Tilly, what one of those answers surprised you? Um, I think the pilot, and did, did you say that she spoke several languages? Five. Five. That was, that was it's quite, impressive. It's impressive and surprising. It is, it um, is. Well, we're not going to say goodbye to anyone just yet. We've got another question. Um, sorry. Um, can you tell me something you'll never leave the house without? So something that, you know, if you left the house and you forgot it, you'd rush back home to get it. Tilly, something you don't leave the house without? I mean, the logical answer is your keys, but... Yeah. All those sometimes fine. Um, that's just kind of fun. Um, what do I, what do I not leave without? Um, Probably my bag that says, like, girl gang leaves. It's like this, like, Ooh. very selective in these. And I always carry my lunch in it. So. Handy. Well, if you forgot it, wouldn't have the lunch, would you? Yeah, exactly. So, so got to have the lunch, too. Fair enough. And else, would you have an answer? So you would never leave the house without? I always have to have a pair of earrings on me and a necklace. Interesting. A pair of earrings and a necklace. Rita? Ring, like at least one ring, and Freya? Probably my camera. And Cassidy? Oh, oh god. Um, maybe the clip-offs, I can't remember. I'm just saying, 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 I'm just Well, now you've got to say goodbye to someone on the other side, which is the really cool bit for the bit I enjoy. It. Um, so, we have a range of people, so you've got two set of answers to go from. But who are you going to say goodbye to? Um, can you 
So we have Itso, is that correct? Rita, Freya, and Cassidy. Oh, Rita, what a shame. Shall I come over here, Rita? Do you want to say hi to Tilly? Oh, what a shame. Okay, so, obviously when I started your introduction, I said you won uh, a lip-sync battle to Anaconda by Nicki Minaj. I dread to imagine. Um, so now, my next question is, what song would you lip-sync to, and why? Obviously, Silly, we know, why did you pick Anaconda? Um, I think people just thought it was really catchy, and it was actually friends at summer camp, so not like typical bio-dance um, lip-sync battle. Okay. Um, but, um, yeah, it's something that could please the crowd. It was there was five year olds in the audience. Oh my god. You perform Anaconda in front of five year olds. Yeah, quite a lot of shock. Yeah, but I like yes. I sewed these I sewed these like these trousers. I think I've been inspired from watching lipstick battles on TV. I sewed these trousers and then they didn't fully come off. I had I had shorts underneath, but they didn't fully come off, so I did do part of the performance with them dangling around my ankles. Um, fully fully convincing though to the interact. Impressive, impressive. Well, after that revelation, um, it's so, uh, your song of choice and why? Um, what's the name of the song that goes like the first time I was afraid, I was gonna Anyone got Shazam? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I will survive! Thank you! There we go, let's hope you survive this round. Freya, uh, what song would you pick to do? I mean, you can say why, why would you pick I will survive? I like the drama of the song. <laughs> Fair enough. Freya, what song would you lip sync to and why? I try to, to ask now. Um, maybe Coconut by Kim Petras. Yeah. 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 And, and Cassidy? You probably see me do this with more hipster wine. Yeah. Yeah. And why, why is that Cassidy? It's the classic go-to. Dance to it. Let's sing to it and just go crazy with it. Yeah! Fair enough. Tilly, which one of our songs did you like most? Um, I didn't hear the last song, actually. Hips Don't Lie, oh, you know, Shakira. Hey, that's a kid. Oh, I didn't hear the last song. Hips Don't Lie. I really like that. Yeah. 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 But you've got to take a mind song to remember. So who's it going to be? First answer, it's so sadly you did not survive. But come and say goodbye to Tilly, will ya? A round of applause, everybody! <laughs> so we are now down to our last two, and as last time, you get to choose the question. So, what will be your question and why? Interesting. Get thinking. Where would you go then, Tilly? Um, Where have you got booked? I, I've got nowhere booked. Oh. Um, yeah. Just trying to get the degree done. Fair enough. But, um, Australia. I'd love to go. Australia. To Australia. Where in Australia? Just like the whole East Coast, maybe. Oh. Who knows? Well, our next chooser is actually from Sydney, so maybe you need to have a chat with him about it. Smart. Very smart. Any ideas from you two? Are you, you struggling to think? Any ideas? Have you? Okay, so where would you like to go then? I would also like to go to Australia because my auntie lives there. So I've got a place to stay. Yeah. Um, but I don't know where to go. So I'd like to go to Asia more because I've done most of Europe. Maybe like India, so that's somewhere I've never been before. Yeah. Where does your auntie live in Australia then? Melbourne. Melbourne. Very, very nice. Cassidy, have you got an answer? You forgot the country's name. <laughs> well, where is it? We are playing a game like Jim, yes, sir. It's in the Caribbean. That's a lot of countries there. What country is it? <laughs> yeah, it's Bahamas. Dominican Republic. 
Antigua. Antigua. There we go. So you like to go to Antigua. Why would you like to go to Antigua? All my friends from uh, um, like we had chat with them. I've chatted with them before. Like, oh, I was doing this. Like, it was like we were glad we were taking to it to this. Like, we're friends. Uh, there's also like beaches. I just want to go and visit and look around. Oh, friends. Yeah, it's a really, really pretty country. Well, Tilly, two very interesting answers. Well, which one do you prefer? Mm-hmm, yes. Right. So you prefer the Australian answer, but... But the Caribbean answer sounds great. It does. Like, yeah. Then you've obviously got to pick who you want to say goodbye to, and then who you want to go on date with. Uh, is it, it Cassidy? Cassidy, it's And then Freya picked... Um, Yes, I sort of got myself. I mean, Freya, um, her best mate described her in three words as a golden retriever. Yeah. Take that as you will. Um, I think I'm going to have to say goodbye to Cassidy. Oh, Cassidy. Yeah. No, come on and have a say goodbye to Timmy Cassidy. I love you! Get around. So that means, Tilly, that you have picked Freya! Give her a applause, everybody! Well, well done, you two. Congratulations. Uh, I don't know where you go. Uh, I think you can go in the audience if you want to. Go for a trick. Go on, you've earned it. Give a big warm welcome to Zach! <laughs> Hello Zach, lovely to meet you. I'll take the mic, yeah, take the mic. I'll pop it off, come on. So Zach, how are you? Very good, thank you. Good, good, good. So, um, what? How old are you? Uh, what course do you study? I'm 21. I study landscape architecture. Woo! Oh, fancy. Um, just like Tilly, you also won a lip sync battle, but at Viaduct, and won a £50 bar tab. Yes. But what happened after that lip sync battle? After that lip sync battle, I was on a staff party. They all left because they had to go home. So I had a £50 bar tab all to myself. What a shame. Woo! <laughs> What an absolute shame. Not remember what happened after that. <laughs> and uh, Zach, you also you went to America one time? Oh no, no, no this is Yeah, you went to America, Zach. <laughs> and you started becoming friends with someone. What happened in the forest? I had a lovely time with a colleague in America. In Vermont. We were, you know, enjoying each other's company, if you will. And then... Who should come up behind us but a black bear? <laughs> a black bear came running behind us. Never in my life have I pulled up my trousers so quickly. <laughs> wow, well, I've got no response to that one. <laughs> I'm speechless. Should we see who you got to pick from tonight? What? Sorry? Should we see who you got to pick from tonight? Oh, yes, please. But well, you can't see them, you'll hear them, but... <laughs> Everyone give a big round of applause to our contestants! <laughs> hello, hello everybody. How are you doing? You doing good? Excellent, excellent. So, we're going to go with the first question, and just like Timmy, I'm going to ask you, because Zach won a lip sync battle, if you had to lip sync to a song, what would it be and why? So, if you had to lip sync to a song, what would it be and why? Um, Zach, um, what song did you actually lip sync to? What did I lip sync to? Uh, it was Live in La Vida Loca by Ricky Martin. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Very, very interesting. Why did you pick Live in La Vida Loca? 
Because I used to live in Spain, so I thought... Did you? Know, you? Everywhere. Spain, yeah. Leeds, America. America, yeah. No one. No one's safe. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note... <laughs> Um, is there one an answer here, or you got an answer? You got so of an answer. Uh, what's what would you lip sync to then? I mean, if I had to do it successfully, it'd probably be something like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a how does Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall? <laughs> da, 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 da. I don't know. Okay, interesting. Is that kind of film about that Humpty Dumpty? Um, maybe if yeah, I was, maybe if I was ten years younger. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Um, any other answers? Yeah. Sorry. Matt? Okay, what would you lip sync to then? Uh, Bernie Winehouse, Pump Battery, because that's just my karaoke pick. <laughs> Fair choice. Very, very good choice. And uh, Jeff? What would you pick? I think I would like Adele, so probably I'd like uh, Adele's song or something soul, something chanted in Kevin. Lots of people. What song would you pick? There's like a lot of Adele songs, isn't there? I'm doing wine, the new song. Good choice. Very, very good choice. I guess that choice is there for you. Zach, Zach which one jumped out to you the most? What, what did I like the most? Yes. Um, I think one of my favourite artists is in fact a dance. Mm. So that answer was the best one for you. The best one for me is the adult. Well, we're not going to say goodbye to anyone just yet. So. I mean, I don't know how you could surprise Zach after hearing his whole antics in the forest. Um, but if you had to tell us a fact to surprise Zach, what would it be? So if you had to tell a fact to Zach to surprise them, what would it be? Um, what would that? What would surprise you? What would surprise me? Uh, not much would surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, one time you fell asleep on a park toilet. And then, when you try to leave the next day, you set off all the alarms. I did. <laughs> I'm good friends with the owner of the bar, it was fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Um, any answers here then? You got an answer? Yeah. I mean, like, last year, first year, I hotboxed my first year toilet. That was pretty fun. I love the pop I guess. Hotboxed his toilet? <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Um, any other answers? No, I mean, you can't really surprise Zach after the whole black bear incident. Uh, Jeff, what have you got? A fact about me that I can cook almost every Asian food, include, including Vietnamese, Chinese, Korean, Japanese, and Malaysian. That is pretty impressive. Pretty, pretty impressive. Nath, do you have an answer? Or? Um, I can Name one of the hundred countries off by heart. That, okay, that is impressive. Um, I mean, yeah, can you give us like just five countries off the top of your head? Uh, Argentina, Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Chile. I mean, they're all countries. That's pretty impressive. That's pretty impressive. Um, Zach, how are that? Can name a hundred countries, can cook a range of food, and hot boxes toilet. Well, uh, what I want to ask, if I'm allowed to, is. Uh, out of those countries, do you also know their flags? Ooh! Because I love flags. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, do you, do you know the flags? Do any of you know 100 flags? You know a few flags. I mean, I don't have any flags on me, so we can't test that, but we we'll just have to believe you. Um, okay, so the last question I'm not going to say is, what would be your biggest red flag? A thing that would like, pardon? Like your own personal biggest red flag, yeah. Like if Zach did this, eh -eh. Zach, what about you, red flag? My biggest red flag? Oh my gosh, wow. I mean, I had one big red flag. There was a guy that didn't like me wearing heels. There's something wrong with that. Ooh. Exactly. I mean, I'm loving the trousers. Oh, thank you. Yes. Up and out of it. I don't know where to go when these trousers rip on me again. Um, my housemates are laughing at a joke because they know I stitched these trousers yesterday afternoon. Uh, Jeff, uh, do you have an answer to biggest red flag? 
think I don't like the guy uh, living without passionate. So it might turn me off. So I like the guy with passionate, intelligent, and hardworking. Oh. Oh. Arrogance. Um, Matt, last but not least. Uh, based on a uh, very recent experience, uh, any boy who plays guitar. <laughs> um, Zach, do you play guitar? I do not play guitar, look at it. Good, good, good. Well, that's all for my questions, but that means you have to say goodbye to someone over there. So, we have Nath, Matt, and Jeff. But who are you going to say goodbye to? Oh, now that's a difficult one. Because you had guitar, you had well, the arrogance, and passion. And look, I like your passion. You like it. You also have hotbox in your toilet. I just want to stress that. Yeah, hotbox in the toilet. Hotbox in a toilet. No, it's very interesting. I like them all. I do like them all. And the one I'll have to say goodbye to would be. I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but passionate. Oh. Oh. I like the answer. I'm so, so sorry, Jen. We're going to have to It's okay. Should we say We bye? love you, Jen! To, to Zach. Come on, Jen. You're not on your own. Come on. Come. Yeah, you can say you can see Zach if you want to. You can go past this divider. Big round of applause. For you. Yeah. I mean, that song choice was just a bit cruel. A bit, bit cruel. Well, now Zach, it is down to you to ask these last two a question. Oh, so what, okay. what would the question be? Alright, okay. I'm a man of adventure. I love getting lost in a place I've never been to before. Like a pub twilight. <laughs> I've been there before. <laughs> I like new places, getting lost, so different cities, countryside. But what I want to know is if I chose you to be my date, what adventure would you take me on? Oh, <laughs> Interesting. What adventures would you like? What would I like? Yeah. Well, I'm a country girl. Uh, I like the countryside. Mm -hmm. uh, different countries. Mm -hmm. Maybe not in the UK. Kind of explore, you know. Yeah. Interesting. 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 So, so where would you like ideally want to go then? Where would I ideally want to go to? I'd like to go to New Zealand, to be honest. New Zealand? Yeah. That's a long flight. Yeah. If you don't like them... Although I heard pints there are very expensive, so maybe not. Yes, <laughs> yes, very, very expensive. Very, very expensive. So, do we have any answers over here, then? Any adventures? Yeah. Have you got answers as well? Okay, let's go. Now, so, Naf, where would you take Zach, then? Um, it'd definitely be somewhere that I haven't been before, either, because... Um, traveling is kind of a passion of mine, and I want to go somewhere new. And I feel like exploring somewhere that we've both never seen before, definitely abroad, could be something that would be special to us. I mean, you've got a hundred cups to choose from in your mind, so you've got loads of choice. Um, that's a, that sounds great. Matt, where would you go? Uh, my ideal adventure is uh, via the toilets, Durkee. <laughs> Um, well, I don't know how to respond to that one. I don't know how to respond. Never been to the Vibrant Toilets personally. No. Um, Zach, what would you like to choose? Want to stay or to go? I mean, you can well, to, you can pick what to stay. So you can pick. The wonderful travelling around the world, or kept in Viaduct toilets. It's totally up to you. I'd like to go with the one that 
that travels around the world. <laughs> um, so that means that like, you're saying goodbye to Matt then. Matt, do you want to say goodbye to Zach quickly? Well, that was a very interesting answer. But that means that you get to meet now. Round of applause, everybody! Well, that was interesting to say the least. So, should we bring on our next contestants? Everybody give a big round of applause to Brandon! Hello, hello Brandon, or should I say good day, because you're from Australia. So uh, where are you from in Australia then? Sydney, Sydney, very nice. Um, I mean when we asked you to when we asked you to describe yourself with three words, you put confident, flirty, and Australian. So, real original. But it seems like in Australia, they take odds on bets very seriously. So can you tell me what happened when you did an odds on bet? So basically, I lost odds on, on a date, and I had to tip some spaghetti bolognese on my head. I mean, what was the number? The number? Yeah, we got us on to. Six. <laughs> what? Out of ten. That was a bit stupid, wasn't it? Oh, listen, mate, you just gotta go. Just gotta <laughs> wow, okay. Um, I mean, in terms of other dates you went on, one of your other dates for a fish finger was actually a finger of fish. Yes, um... How do you respond to that? She took it very literally. I said, have you had a fish finger before? And she said, Fish don't have fingers, what are you talking about? I'm just like, mate, like, a fish finger. Well, let's move on. Should we meet who you got up against? Should we meet the contestants? Yeah, 100%. Everyone we'll give me a round of applause! Hello everyone. There's a big, big cheer for someone. I hope it was for me, but thank you anyway. Um, so we have Meryl, Ella, Ella, and Amber. That will get confusing. Um, which Ellas are you? Because I've got two Ellas and I don't want to out the other one. Um, which Ella? So you're Ella. Good. And you're Ella. Perfect. Perfect. Just want to make sure I've got it right. Um, so, the first question, as you're from Australia, could you do your best Australian accent? I am so sorry. Good luck. <laughs> um, he wants to try first. You want to try first? Okay. Um. Good day, mate. <laughs> that was, that's an accent. That's the same good day, mate. Okay, okay give, it a bit, go on. give it more Australian, you know. Good day, mate. Can I have some barbecue? <laughs> How would you rate that? Be brutally honest. Good. Need a bit, bit more original than that, mate. Yeah. I can tell you know what, you're a 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10? I think that's generous. <laughs> Anyone else want to try another accent before? Oh, Ella. Ella, any of the others? Ella? <laughs> go, go, who wants to try first? Go on, one of you. Just think about what to say, so you don't want to see. Uh, Brandon, could you give them a sentence to say? Like a typical Australian sentence that isn't just, you know. How's the waves looking today, mate? How's the waves looking today, mate? The waves. I mean, do you want to give them a little go, Meryl? Because Australian accent, uh, what, say that again, Meryl? What are the waves looking like today? How are the waves looking like today, mate? I mean, you can have a go if you want. You'll stick for the six, good. 
Maybe, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. Who wants to come next? I'm just going to say, no one be eliminated from this round. Do different accents. I'll do both. Do you order it? Do you order it? I mean, Mel tried. Mel, Mel tried. You want to try again? Okay. I didn't even hear it, to be honest, bro. <laughs> Probably a good thing, to be fair. Uh, Amber, hello, do you want to try another one? I mean, Brandon, would you accept other accents? Yes, I will. He will accept other accents. Do, do whatever accent you're most comfortable with. Ella, do you want to try another Irish accent? The way he's looking so mean. Oh, sorry! That's a pretty good accent. I, I can't believe I didn't hear it. You didn't hear it? Oh, okay. Okay, say it again, just louder. Uh, how are the way you looking so mean? Lovely! You hear that, Brandon? Yeah, yeah, good. Um, Amber, do you want to try an accent? <laughs> Brandon, what would you say to that? Was that Scottish? I don't know what that was. Um, I dread to think. Um, I've never heard a Scottish person say that, so... No, yeah, well, lucky for you guys, you will not get eliminated on this round. We have another question, and that question is, what is your biggest red flag? So, some of you spot the other person, and you'd be like, red flag. Out of it. Brandon, what's it for you? Red flag. My biggest red flag. <laughs> as long as you don't tell them you don't like dogs, then we're, we're cool. Fair enough, then. I mean, down here, it says your biggest red flag, or personally from your end, is you go around and pick up every piece of change he sees on the floor, <laughs> even pennies. It all counts, mate. <laughs> it all counts. Fair enough. It's clear that walkabout is not paying you enough. Um, Red flags, who's got any red flags? Meryl? Um, anyone named after a bird? Because I've dated a few guys named after birds. Ducky, Docker. Yeah. There's someone called Ducky? Who would name the child Ducky? Wait, is anyone called Ducky in the audience tonight? Katie York is fine. Oh, who the hell would call the child Ducky? That's a terrible name. Terrible name. Um, Ella? Red flag? They're like half straight. Take that response as you will. Ella? <laughs> yeah, we'll come back. Amber, what about you? Someone who doesn't like animals or dogs or anything like that. Brandon, are you quite an animal person? What's that, sorry? Are you an animal person? Oh, 100%. Yeah, Perfect. Animals. Any pets? Yeah. What pets do you have? Four cats at the moment. Four cats? <laughs> I live with four cats at the moment, yeah. That's fine, that's amply fine. Ella, biggest red flag? Don't say four cats. Um, I think just, I don't know. You just need good vibes, that's all I need. <laughs> good vibes. Good vibes. Good vibes. Brandon, do you get any good vibes from that answer? Or? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, now we've got to say goodbye to one of the girls behind this divide. So we've got Meryl, Emma, Ella, and Amber. So, um, you've got yeah. Emma, yeah. and then uh, Ella as well, so. Okay. Ella one, Ella two, maybe, if you want to get that. Um, mate, I'm, I'm really bad with names anyway, so like, okay. this is like, 
Well, we could go person one, two, three, or four. That's okay, yeah, happy days, yeah. Um, so person one is Meryl, and person two is Ella. Person three is also Ella, and person four is Amber. Uh, uh, number four. Number four! Oh, that's Amber! Come on, Amber, do you want to say goodbye to Brenda Brown? This is Amber! <laughs> what did you do to her? Um, very, very frosty. Now it's the last of my questions, and that is, what would your ideal first date be? What would your ideal first date be, Brandon? What's your ideal first date? Yeah. Anyway, anywhere with a bit of sun, a bit of water, a bit of sand. So basically, be Australia. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> That's achievable. Um, Meryl, ideal first date. Opened a new venue near the night, um, and I'm really bad at bowling, so maybe you can show me a few things about Okay, okay, okay. Emma, what about you? I like being inside. <laughs> you like being inside? Oh, outside, sorry, sorry. Where outside? Anywhere. <laughs> Anywhere outside, Brandon and Ella again. I do first date. Somebody just like a picnic in the park or something. Woo! Okay, Brandon. So you got Roxy's outside and a picnic. Oh, what did range there? What were they again? Pardon? What were they again? So there are Roxy's. You know the one by the light. You're buying where view is in like the city centre. Oh yeah. Uh, outside. Yeah. Like literally outside. <laughs> yeah. And then a picnic. Okay. Uh, probably. Do I have a big bite or not? You can, so you can pick your favourite answer out of all of those, and then okay, you can yeah. say goodbye to one of those three. Right, okay. Um, the middle one, one, two. Middle one. That means gratitude. You're off saying goodbye to Emma. Uh, she's from Ireland and she really loves the outdoors. So, can I come and see Brandon? Say goodbye. Well, down to our last two, and that means Brandon, you get to say the last question. So, what is your question? I don't remember what I asked. <laughs> oh. oh, what is your favourite musical? What is your favourite musical? Make or break question here. Make or break. I I'm not going to ask you what your favourite musical is because I don't want them to like butter up to you or something. Um, are you big musical lovers? Yeah? No. Anybody got an answer? I swear to God if it's Hamilton, I swear to God. I know, I'm going to go for Lakers. Fair enough. Lagos, fair enough, Lagos. Meryl, have you got an answer? It's too high, um, High School Musical, I'm going next week. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So you've got Lagos and High School Musical. Are you a big High School Musical fan? I love High I came out to get your head in the game with Troy Bolton. That is very, very true. Cool. So you can pick from Meryl, who said High School Musical, and Ella, who said Lagos. Have you ever seen Lagos? So, you can pick either Meryl to say goodbye to, who I'm picked High School Musical, yeah. or Ella, who chose Lendis. I mean, have you ever seen Lendis? I have, but... What, what did you think of it? It's good, but I'm a High School Musical boy. Through and through, Ooh, so, yeah. so, 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 to so you're going to have to say goodbye to Ella then! Oh. Well, Ella, do you want to see? Bye to Brandon then!
contestant tonight then? Woo! Everyone give a big round of applause for Evie! Yeah! Hello, how are you? Uh, how old are you? And what course do you do? Pretty old. Yes, how old are you? I'm 21 and I do film. Film! Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Uh, when we asked you to describe yourself, you said, young, wild and free. And being a film, doing a film degree really explains your dream date. Your dream date is to recreate the pottery scene from Ghosts. Why, why that scene? Um, I just think it's quite sexy. Fair enough. <laughs> well, let's move on. Should we meet the other contestants then? And we'll give a big round of applause to the other contestants! So, the first question is, what is your ideal holiday? Your ideal holiday. Evie, what about you? Ideal holiday. Um, well, I say it's 16, but Australia. I know Brandon's Australian, but... Whereabouts in Australia? Just to trap anywhere. Fair enough. Any, anybody from Australia over here? No. Okay. <laughs> You'd like to go. Adam, ideal holiday. Uh, maybe somewhere like Greece, you know, a bit of sand, a bit of sand, have a few pina coladas and, you know, see where it goes. Woo! <laughs> Trevor, what about you? Uh, let's go skiing somewhere, like Switzerland, off in Colorado in the US, uh, just drink a bunch and then hit the slopes. Woo! I can, I can, what part of America? Because I can hear the accent. You're American. Where, where are you from? North Carolina, so Hunger Games and Outer Banks, that's my territory. Yeah! <laughs> Simon, what about you? Uh, I'm eyeing up on the road trip for this summer. Um, either somewhere like Austria, Switzerland, or Iceland, probably. Woo! Yeah. Dan, what about you? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Why are you jumping anywhere? Why are you jumping anywhere? Just like, just find a bridge and jump off it. It's like, yeah. 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 Evie, a oh, wide range of choices there. Some of them good, some of them not so good. What chance are really stood out to you then? Money, money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's one way to put it. <laughs> well, you're not going to say goodbye to anyone just yet. We're going to do another question. Um, biggest red flag. What will be your biggest red flag? Evie, what about you? Red flags. Um, long nails. Long nails. <laughs> Anything else? Um, if they like Joe Rogan. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone like Joe Rogan? Okay, good, good. Um, red flags. Adam? Um, you know, I quite like going out and things, so it, I, I guess a big, bit of a big red flag if they want to say it all the time. Fair Ooh. enough, fair enough. Trevor, what about you? My dogs don't like you. Dogs, what dogs do you have? Uh, golden Doodle and a Burn Doodle. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Simon, what about you? Um, probably into crystals and astrology. Oh. Are you into crystals and astrology? Into crystals and astrology? Uh, no. Good. Darren? Red flag. Still talking to your exes. I mean, that's a pretty... Woo! Um, speaking of exes, Adam, how does it go with breaking up with your long-term girlfriends? I thought you asked that. Um, so... So I had a girlfriend when I came to uni, and it just, you know, towards Easter, realised it wasn't going well, so I thought, I'll go, when I go back home, I'll go over and uh, break up with her. Um, so I went over, not realising the day, which was... Um, yeah, what was the day? April the 1st, April Fool's Day. So, oh. so after 10 minutes of explaining to her, it wasn't some awful practical joke. Um, we eventually got to talking, and she said, okay, fair enough, broken up, Adam, but you're not leaving right now. And I said, well, what, why is that? She said, well, it's very simple. I've been uh, spent all afternoon making you a fish pie. It's in the oven. It'll be ready in about half an hour. But you should stay and eat it. So I did the gentleman thing. Watched the most awkward episode of Friends I've ever had in my entire life. What episode was it? I, you know what? We were on a break! I believe it was. <laughs> yeah, she didn't write me uh, 12 pages or anything like that, but it was something like that. Um, so um, anyway, so... Ate the fish pies, 
fairly tasty, didn't have much of an appetite. Um, helped do the dishes as well. We got to the end of it, and I said, okay, well, I'd better go now. And she did say, well, I mean, I've got a trifle in the fridge if you want to stay for that. No, I decided probably not at that point. Not a big trifle fan, very, very clear. Not very good at a calendar either. Um, so, Evie, we're not going to say goodbye, or we are going to say goodbye to someone now. Who are you picking? That means, Evie, you are saying goodbye to Adam. Oh. Ouch. So we are down to three. Down to three. So the last question is, what is your celebrity crush and why? Celebrity crush. Celebrity crush. Evie, celebrity crush? Um, Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackman! Woo! Good shout. Why Hugh Jackman? <laughs> Better enough as well. Um, any answers yet? Celebrity crushes? Celebrity crush, like, sure. Uh, yeah, I just watched Harry Potter for the first time a couple months ago, so Emma Watson. I'm only just I wish I watched it when I was younger, but I just didn't for whatever reason. But it's really, really good. It is quite good to be fair. Simon, what about you? Celebrity crush? Well, I, I don't really have any celebrity crushes because I'm way too conscious of that. I'm not going to have a chance. Aww. Everybody's got a chance, Simon. Everyone's got a chance. Darren, what about you? I did see your bonus. There you go. Popular answer. Um, what are you picking for that one, Evie? Um, who to get rid of? Who to get rid of, yes. Um, the second guy, is everyone armed? Oh. Oh. Well, that means Evie, you will be saying goodbye to Simon. Simon, we're going to say hi to Evie there. Yeah. Good applause, everybody! So we are now down to the last question, which Evie, you will say. So, what is your question? If you were on death row, what would your last meal be? Evie, what would your last meal be? A roast dinner. Decent, decent. Any ideas from you two? Last meal. Yeah, let me get a ribeye medium rare, some loaded uh, mashed potatoes, and then some bread for dessert. Woo! And mac and cheese. And mac and cheese. <laughs> you can definitely tell it's American. Um, Evie, what do you think of that answer? Solid answer from Trevor there? Um, answer? Yeah, that's a good answer. Okay, Darren, your answer now. I'd say a very, very, very large steak. <laughs> yeah, <I'm good. laughs> Is that it? How original. <laughs> oh. 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 Anything, anything else in the steak? Um, there's some chips on the side. Some chips on the side. This is your last meal. So you just got steak and chips. <laughs> well. Evie, you've got a choice of steak and steak. Which is my favorite steak? I hate steaks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so Trevor walked off to that. I mean, I'm vegetarian. So oh. <laughs> She's vegetarian. That's fair. Okay. So, who are you going to say goodbye to? Trevor or Darren?
Um, nothing more to say other than that. But um, well, thank you for playing and congratulations to both of you. It's nice to walk off together. You're now a couple. <laughs> there we go. Well, that is all of our couples for tonight. I know, what a shame. I think we had fun, and at the same time we raised money for some great, great charities as well. Um, well, that's all for me. I'm Alex. Good night!